guys, Melissa here, and today we are going to make some magnetic slime. This is a really cool slime, and it's super unique, and um, so I'm just going to show you how to make it. So first you're going to need, oh, probably about a cup or so of, of white Elmer's glue. Just pour that into a, a large bowl. And then you're going to need some iron fillings, which you can get on Amazon. That's where I got mine from. Now mine are kind of a lighter color. So I have to use um, black glue to kind of give it that black look, but there's also darker iron fillings if you can find those. So stir that in together with the glue and it's going to kind of turn, oh, it reminds me of like a cookies and cream color, but just stir it as much as you can. And like I said, we're going to add in some glue to give it a black color, but if your iron fillings are more black, then it's going to turn your glue black and you'll, you won't need that paint but for this video I'm going to use it. So just go ahead and add um, probably about probably a half a cup of the iron fillings and you just test it out. That's kind of what I used um, in mine. So just stir that really well. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in my black glue. So just add as much as you think you might need. I had to add in quite a bit. Um, just start off small, then if you need to add more, you can always add more. I haven't really tested other colors, so I'd be curious to see like what a if you added in purple or red, how that would look. See right now, just after that first little bit of paint, it's more of a gray looking slime. And I don't really like that. I like the black on the magnetic slime. So, so just stir that really well together. And this slime is a little bit grainy just because of those iron fillings, but that's okay. It just gives it a little bit different texture. So I added a little bit more. It took me a little bit to get the color that I like. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in my activator. For this one, I want kind of a shiny texture, so I just use liquid starch. You can use a Borex activator, I have done that before, but I like the texture that you get with the liquid starch. So just stir in a little bit at a time. You only need a little bit. Um, and you can always add more, but you can't take it away. So if you add too much, it's going to not work. It's gonna get gloppy and it just turns into a big ball of a mess. So add, as, add a little more if you need to. If it's still sticky, that means you need more liquid starch. I do find that the slime that you make with liquid starch tends to be a little bit more stickier than with the borax. Okay, so after you you're get to a consistency where it's not so sticky and it's hard to stir with the spoon, then you're gonna kinda take it out of the bowl and play with it your hands um, and knead it together, kinda like you would bread. And see, it's still pretty sticky. It would just stick to my fingers, so I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid starch and I kind of work that in with my hands. Sometimes that works better than with a spoon. So now just kind of put it, you know, take it out of the bowl and like I said earlier, just kind of play with it and pull it apart and squeeze it and really work that starch into the slime. And see, I really love the black, but I, you, you don't get that without the paint. It was like a gray, almost like a light purple gray color without the paint. And it's, this slime is actually really sticky, even with all of those iron fillings.
Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more just because it keeps sticking to my fingers. A lot of people really like liquid starch as a slime activator. It's not my favorite. It works and it works really well, but you really have to get the right consistency or the right amount to get the perfect slime texture. Okay, so now I have a great consistency on this slime. It's excellent for poking and stretching and squeezing, but this is magnetic slime, so we are going to play around with it with a magnet and make it move and make it stretch, and I'm going to show you what it does with a magnet. So you can actually move the slime around, and it um, will stretch up and get attracted by that magnet and move, which is super cool. You can do all kinds of fun things with it. It's almost like an alien kind of popping out. I kept, for some reason, this slime would like stretch up and then it would stick to it and I couldn't get it to let go, but. So see, I would just kind of stick it on the side and it just uh, stretches out. If you really play around with it, you can really get a, a long piece of slime to stretch really far. And this makes like a great slime for science projects and science experiments. It'd be really fun to do this summer you're looking for something a fun activity to do do you guys think it looks like like an alien or like a claw kind of poking out leave me a comment and let me know what you think it looks like or if you think it looks cool and remember I love those thumbs up thumbs up if you like magnetic slime And I'm going to zoom in here so you can really see how it moves out. It looks like I'm like poking it with the magnet, but I'm not. The slime will reach up and then it just grabs a hold of it. Ah, I love this. It's like swallowing the bar, the magnet. So I hope you guys like this video. I would love to hear what you think. And let me know what kind of um, color that you'd like to see me try. And make sure you guys subscribe so that I can keep making more cool slime videos. I love hearing your thoughts and I love it when you leave me comments. And I will try and comment back. So thanks guys. I hope you all have a slime-tastic day.